Are you a Christian because you want to serve God or because you want God to serve you? Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. What a big difference there is. If you want God to serve you, then your prayers are simply trying to gain control of God. But you're really using God. You're not trusting God if that's the case. God wants us to trust him. He wants us to love him for who he is. And who is he? Well, I think we all come to God because we want something from him, whether it's acceptance or forgiveness or unconditional love. But then we realize we owe him everything. Number one, because he is our creator. He made us. That alone should uh, elicit our total allegiance to him, our total loyalty. But number two, he's our redeemer. He paid the penalty for our sins. He took our place on the cross. He took what we deserve. So instead of asking, what can I do to get this or to get that from God? We need to ask, what can I do to get God? And the answer is simple. You ask him to come into your life. You ask him to fill your heart with love and compassion for other people. You ask him to forgive you of your sins and you repent. You turn your back on that old way of life and you follow him and you give him everything. You see, the word Christian literally means Christ's one. You belong to Christ. It's not just a, that he has a casual influence on your life. It's because you have made a fundamental allegiance to him with your whole life and to serve him. You know, some people today, when you ask them who Jesus was, they'll say, well, he was a great prophet like Elijah or Buddha or Muhammad or Confucius. But Jesus said, no, I'm not just a prophet. I'm not just a teacher. I'm Messiah. I am God incarnate. So either he was a total crazy man or he was who he said he was. And we believe he is God, part of the triune of God. God the Father, Jesus is God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I want to read who he really is in Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, Wherefore God, wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You see, all of these problems we're facing, one day everyone will say, you know what? Jesus Christ is Lord, and every knee will bow before him. But it's time to get serious about serving God, because in Revelation 3.16, he says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. God says he wants us to be hot. He wants us to be on fire for him, to give him our life and to lead others to him. I hope that blesses you today. If you don't know Jesus as your savior, you can ask him into your heart by simply saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. I wanna follow you. I wanna give my life to you. In thy name, amen. God bless. I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.